guys, it's Shani, and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I decided to use this kit from my shop, and this one was called Happy NYE or New Year's Eve. Um, honestly, I would have called it Happy New Year's Eve, but there was just no space on the sheet to write New Year's Eve, so NYE it is. <laughs> um, I also wanted to talk about this planner a little bit just because that is something different. Um, you guys saw that most of my plan with me's recently have been in my Erin Condren, like my main ones, and then there were obviously the ones in my personal planner, um, which will continue you but uh the reason that they were in my Erin Condren is that was my memory planner and I got it to be um 18 months and so now that the first six months are done it is now my main planner since my other main planner finished I hope that makes sense um but yeah so I will probably be filming my plan with me's in this planner for like the first six ish months um of the year I was going back and forth between getting one of these planners um and just using my b6 and for some reason I don't know I just really wanted um like a planner like this where I could film my videos I do like love my Erin Condren and this kind of like represented or like like looked like an Erin Condren without me actually having to spend another like $80 on a planner um so I don't know it's it let me know what you guys think. This planner is from Michaels. It is their like recollections brand and um, honestly there's people that I follow on Instagram that have been using this planner and I didn't even realize. I thought it was the Erin Condren. Um, obviously when it's like pretty like bare like this you can tell because it's so colorful um, but when everything's down like I probably would have no clue. So yeah let me know what you guys think. If you would rather see like B6 plan with me is over this then like I will do that. I will do whatever you guys want um the really nice thing about this planner is that it kind of has the same like shape not shape design um as the old Erin Condren where there are actually headers can you imagine that wow and there's not like ugly polka dots everywhere <laughs> or whatever the design is this year I'm really not a fan of the colorful can you tell um but yeah uh into the actual plan with me again let me know what you guys think of me filming in the recollections planner which is this one or the b6 in the comments let me know um but yeah the actual spread so i started off by putting down this bottom washi um i loved the double stacked bottom washi there was one i don't know the bottom one is like not confetti what is that word i can't think of what it's called but it was very celebratory and i really liked it um but i didn't want it to be the full strip so i did a half strip of that with a half strip of bows which i've been doing in like every kit just because that's like my favorite thing ever it won't be in every single kit of my shop but I think it'll be like in a majority of them and if you guys have like a simply gilded washi that you want to like um, substitute um, if you want to add like more foil or whatever totally makes it easier you don't even have to cut your own bottom washi in half which is what I usually do um, in most spreads unless the bottom washi is like very like specifically like should not be cut like if there's a specific like design but I feel like a lot of shops are doing like very patterned bottom washi since they know people are going to be cutting it in half so yeah I don't know but um once I finished the bottom washi I put down all my full boxes it was a little bit different since I hadn't worked with like an Erin Condren style planner like this in so long since I've been in like the new format for a while uh so it was a little hard to get used to and I kept having to turn the planner upside down um but I think it turned out so pretty no I wanted to show you guys the cover because I realized I didn't at the beginning I did show this on my Instagram uh, I love the color the cover <laughs> and I love the color as well it's a rose gold coil the cover says rise above it all in gold foil um there's like a bunch of really pretty roses so I love that um and for some reason while I was flipping the planner that's when I decided to show you guys not at the beginning because why would I do anything in order right <laughs> Um, and then once I finished putting down the full boxes I went ahead and put down the glitter headers I always fast forward that like um, a lot more than the rest of the video just because it's so repetitive and I can't imagine it's interesting watching me put down headers um, but I also prefer when people don't cut it out of their videos so I just like I don't know I just fast forward it a lot and also look at that super zoom in I don't know why I thought that looked really funny um, and then I put down the date dots and whited out the dates in this planner I wasn't sure if date covers were gonna fit but the ones in my kids actually ended up fitting like perfectly so I had to like line it up pretty well so that you couldn't see the white out like see there you can see it so I had to like scooch it up a little bit more and I couldn't be like too crazy with the white out otherwise you'd be able to um, like see it behind the date covers or like 
through the day covers, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't know. It's a little, it, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve, but I do think this ended up turning out really cute. So I hope you guys like me filming in here. Um, I also want to try doing a few more like plan as I go type spreads like that like style of planning not where I actually film every day but like where the um, full boxes aren't in like their like they're not what's the like what am I thinking of do you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> this is not a good time to film a plan with, I mean a voiceover clearly because I can't think of anything I'm trying to say but um, yeah, I, I filmed a few Plan With Me's in that style and I really like how they come out. So I think I'm going to um, film a few more for you guys. Um, and then I put down my date covers and moved on to my sidebar. There was a lot of like whiting out. Um, and the thing that was different here is that in the Erin Condren, there's obviously like that big like July 2018 or 2019, whatever. Um, but this had like colorful like months. So I really wanted to white it out because it said like January 2019 and like hot pink. So didn't really want that <laughs> in the spread. So I whited it out and then scooted my um, like sidebar all the way to the top. Um, another thing I should mention about this planner is that I couldn't do like a white space sidebar, which is what I prefer. But um, I think it's not as noticeable as I thought it would be. Um, in the Erin Condren, obviously, or as you guys might know, there are lines throughout the whole sidebar. But here there's like this weird like pink box, which I didn't really understand. Like why? Why is there just a random pink box in the sidebar? Um, it also made it a little like hard to line things up because if it was like a hair over, like you could see pink coming out. So that was kind of annoying, but whatever. I think I did a pretty good job. And when I look at it now, I can't really see any pink. So yeah, but um, I had to like stack everything like right up next to each other since, you know, couldn't couldn't really have random pink splatches <laughs> in my sidebar. Um, but I kind of just did my normal sidebar with the weekly um, with the weekly box for my Instagram posts, just like a heart ombre heart checklist for my to do's throughout the week. Um, I ended up using two habit trackers since I had space for it. And I also had space for um, a squared off half box, which I actually thought was really cute. And I might try to do um, like for the rest of the year, maybe. <laughs> um, I, I really liked seeing like when people do it, when they put like half boxes or something to like, I don't know, talk about what like the overall like vibe of their week was and I was sick this week so that's kind of what I put down. <laughs> um, I used this sleeping Ava and then put sick week which never fun but it happens so yeah I feel like if there's ever something like cute that I want to put and remember at the bottom um, of the sidebar I can definitely do that in here. And then moving on to Monday I used the um, Coffee Monday sticker that was in the kit. Uh, I also wanted to mark down taking the trash out, so I used a squared, nope, not squared, I used a hexagon, um, like little like dark, I, it was like kind of charcoal, it wasn't black, I didn't want to do like full black, but it was pretty dark charcoal. Um, and then I layered the trash icon on top of that. And then obviously this was New Year's Eve, December 31st, so I used a half box at the bottom of the day, and I used a really cute bow. Um, and I just ended up writing like where we had New Year's. I wrote New Year's Eve at um, like we went to like some family's house. So I wanted to write that down. And then we did end up going a little bit later than everybody. So Yanni and I just had like some wine at home. So that's what I marked down in that like wine drink in Ava. Um, I also had to drop off my brother, so I put a label with a car icon, and I never layered, like, an icon like that, but I thought it kind of looked interesting and kind of cute, so I really liked it. I feel like it took up a lot more white space. Like, normally I would either put it in the middle or, like, centered, like, on the actual label, but I thought that looked kind of interesting, so um, I might have to do that again. And then... On the first, it was New Year's Day, so um, like Yanni's parents actually came over for a bit, so I wanted to mark that down with a quarter box, and I put a heart. He actually didn't end up coming, so it was just like my parents, his parents, and me hanging out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to mark that down because that was nice that they came um, on New Year's Day. And then I put something down, but I can't see what it was right now, so that's really unfortunate. Oh, I can see. It was actually a laptop with a flag. But um, a lot of the stickers that I ended up using this day had those same colors, so I did end up changing that. Um, so that's why I couldn't really tell what it is since I'm looking at the planner right now. Uh, and then I put down a payday sticker from the kit and I put that on top of 
um, the washi, like a thin washi strip. I also wanted to add some foil since I thought like the colors were kind of looking a little, I don't know, like kind of were like blending into one another and I wanted a little bit more foil. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like foil, um, like full box overlays or header overlays initially. And then by the time that I was like on Tuesday, I was like, yeah, we need a little bit of glitter. This is a new year spread. Um, another thing that I feel like happens is because like a lot of the time the kits I use, especially my own, like what I include in my kits are things that I know I'm going to use and what other people I hope use. <laughs> so I do end up sometimes feeling like I, st like I stick to the kit a lot, um, which is something I'm trying not to do since I always love incorporating foil. So yeah, I always try to like remember to, I don't know. Like, don't always stick to the kit. It's fine if you have leftover stickers. Pull in foil. It always ends up looking prettier. And I always like how it looks. So, <laughs> yeah, I pulled in the foil, um, gold foil, like, header overlays. And those were from Simply Beautiful Plans. And then I pulled in the, like, um, photo corners that are from my shop. And I put that on the full box in the sidebar. Um, and then I used two little things, one with a TV and one with a heart. I was listening to the seventh Harry Potter book on audiobook, so that's what I used the heart for. And then I also watched the first episode of the Marie Kondo uh, show on Netflix. I've only seen two episodes for now, which kind of says a lot, but whatever. <laughs> and then I also did some designing while I was watching her show, so I used a foiled laptop sticker from my shop. Um, and then afterwards I filmed a plan with me so I used the camera icon from the kit and then I also just put in um, a piece of washi sticker I didn't really have anything else that I wanted to mark and um, yeah I just thought that looked really cute um, and it actually matched the quarter box which I thought looked nice as well and then on Wednesday in the evening I marked down that Yanni and I went to Tim's so I used a label for that as well as this cute coffee cup sticker that's from my shop that as well as the camera icon on top of it are both from the collab between Regina and I so I really like how that looked um, the camera icon was to mark down that I was taking Instagram photos um, and then the laptop on top of that was to mark down that I was reformatting my mini kits which you guys um, if you guys haven't seen the reformat I think it's really awesome I think you guys have been really loving it so that makes me really happy um, the reformat has date covers instead of um, what did I take out I don't even remember at this point oh checklists there's no more checklists but um, there are date covers um, but I also wanted to mark down that Yanni and I went for brunch this day so I used a half box with a meal icon for that and then I was also doing some yoga in the morning the yoga was actually first but I thought the brunch sticker looked cuter at the top so I lied a little bit usually I do this pretty chronologically chronologically <laughs> in a chronological order but Sometimes I don't. And the girl sticker is an Ava from my shop. Um, I also used that Ava on Monday. And then on to Thursday, this was supposed to be my first day of class, but my class actually ended up getting canceled. I don't know if it's because it was the first week or because there was a snowstorm, but my prof literally emailed us at like 1.30 in the morning. So I ended up waking up for the class and I honestly would have gone to school, but thankfully my friend texted me and he's like, oh my God, did you see the email? I was like, thank God you texted me. I would have ended up going and being really angry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I wrote that just uh, class was canceled and I used a label with some glasses stickers for that. I also um, mailed orders that day. So I had to, so I, um, what is that? I used an envelope sticker. And then for New Year's, I actually, if you guys um, are subscribed to Holly's or Holly Plans's plans holly plans she has like a four good things newsletter and i love it um i think she's really awesome um and i'm a big fan of hers so i always read her newsletter and one of the things she mentioned as like a gift guide gift guide was a mini vacuum and then i really wanted one <laughs> so that's what i asked um for the holidays and it ended up getting a little bit late like in a little bit late but that's totally fine so I got it on that Thursday and I was so excited and I'm still so excited which is honestly ridiculous I just really like that it's like cordless and I can vacuum whenever I want and I don't have to lug like a big Dyson upstairs so I'm really happy about that um yeah I also have a Roomba but I don't know I feel like the Roomba doesn't get like tiny like crevices like in the house and that's usually what I want so really happy about that and then, um, yeah, what else happened? I mailed, oh no, I ordered mailers. I was like, I mailed orders and ordered mailers. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that happened in the same day. And I marked that. You can kind of see it there at the bottom of Thursday. I also did some more filming and editing, which I used um, a label with an arrow as well as a laptop for that. 
Um, and then on Friday, I used this like corner box with a bow that I made for myself to write down that Yanni came over. I also did some filming again. I did a lot of filming um, these days just to like prepare, I don't know, for going back to school. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, I also had a, um, also paperies order come in. Um, I also ordered some stuff from my newest addiction and all the foil stickers you guys see are from my shop pretty much. Um, and then on Friday morning, um, my parents actually went to go pick up the mailers. It was about like an hour drive. So that was really nice. Um, yeah. And then moving on to Saturday, I had new releases go up, so I used the quarter box to mark that down. It was the January exclusive kit, which if you guys haven't seen, I'm obsessed with that kit and I cannot wait to use it. I'll probably be using it in March since there are some greens. Um, and you guys know I don't even like green and I love this kit, so that says a lot. <laughs> Um, and then I mailed orders again this day. They don't go out until Monday, I believe, when I, like, um, go to the post office on the weekend, but I still like to get them out and know that they are, like, on their way or in the process, or, like, maybe they do get processed over the weekend. I'm really not sure. <laughs> um, and then I was working on orders all day, and then in the evening I watched to All the Boys I've Loved Before, and I actually haven't seen it. I know a lot of people were, like, really obsessed with it, I think, over the summer, but I didn't watch it, so... Um, yeah, and then um, I had a plan with me go up on Sunday, so I used a foiled sticker to mark that down. Um, I also, it was also my friend Lana's birthday, so that's what I'm writing on the label there with the gift bag, or sorry, the gift box icon. And then I just did a few things like errands with my dad. So I wanted to go to Michael's to buy this planner <laughs> um, and he had to go to like Home Depot while I was there. And then we both ended up going to Costco together. So that's what that's for. Um, and then it kind of cut out when I was filling all this out. So I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you guys liked this play with me and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.